We have team coverage of all of these local races tonight. All right, let's start with that 17th district, that congressional race, the only one in the country that had the two incumbents forced to run against each other in the newly redrawn district. Ralph Iannotti has been following that race throughout the evening. He joins us now live from Connor Lamb's campaign headquarters in Cranberry. Ralph. Yeah, thanks very much, guys. A very uh, big celebration tonight. A very raucous crowd here in this ballroom in Cranberry. 34-year-old Connor Lamb will be going to Washington in January as the congressman from the new 17th Congressional District. He scored an easy victory tonight over his Republican challenger. And just after 10 o'clock tonight, his challenger, uh, former Congressman Keith Rafis, uh, conceded the election in a phone call to Lamb. Now, Congressman Lamb thanked his supporters tonight, including organized labor, who he said went door to door for him. Tens of thousands of doors they, na they knocked on. Also, he thanked young people, uh, hundreds of them who said worked on his behalf during the campaign. And Congressman Lamb said he learned uh, during the campaign uh, that the uh, people thought the government wasn't working the way it should be working. I found that people still want their government to walk on their side of the street, as Franklin Roosevelt said long ago. And I found that people still believe in this government. They just want us to listen to them. And so tonight, we can say to our fellow citizens, we've heard you loud and clear. Now, Mr. Lamb, uh, Congressman Lamb declared victory tonight uh, shortly after 10 o'clock, uh, just a couple of hours after the polls closed in Pennsylvania. Uh, you recall in that special election earlier this year, he had to wait a full week before declaring victory because of the closeness of that race. We're live tonight in Cranberry. I'm Ralph Iannotti, KDKA-TV News.